हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टेक आउट एस एस टी बुक्स टेक आउट चैप्टर नंबर सेवनटीन मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सो बिफोर बिगनिंग विद अ न्यू टॉपिक लेटस हैव अ लुक ऑन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सेकेंड डे सर फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू रिकॉल वॉट वी डिड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास सेकेंड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज पर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन थर्ड to understand postal services and email fine meaning of communication that is sharing of information from one person to another its two ways that is spoken or written and its three methods that is smoke method carrier pigeons method and horse riders method and we also discussed about science and technology that how science and technology made it possible for us to sit at home and talk to anybody in any corner of the world these are some questions related to the previous topic first one is meaning of communication second two ways of sending and receiving messages third name three methods through which communication was possible in the past fourth what are the new means of communication so before beginning with the new topic let me give you an overview regarding the topic personal communication personal communication is the communication between person to person personal communication in other words means talking individually to other person which could be your mother friends teacher etc so personal communication means the communication which is done between the person right for example you are talking to a friend you are talking to your mother that is called personal communication means you talk individually to other person it does not it does not include a group of people in this fine it includes only one person who is listening to you and who is catching your information fine and let's move to the second point letters telephone or mobile phone mail face to face interaction etc are the personal means of communication letters telephone mobile phones mails face to face interactions are personal means of communication for example you are talking to a friend on phone that is called personal communication you are writing message to a friend that is called personal communication you individually ask something to a teacher is called personal communication fine now we will discuss about some difficult words which you will get in the next topic so first one is postal services postal services means post office services these services include accepting and delivering letters and parcels so postal services means post office services what post office do it receives and send letter in different parts of the country or in different parts of the world you must have seen that red box through that red box only we send letters to other parts fine second is mail mail means letters and parcel sent by post so whenever we send letters and parcel by post that is called mail third one parcels parcels means packages fourth money orders a printed order for payment of money issued by bank or post office so money orders are kind of check which are issued by bank or post office right fifth one is pin code number pin code number is a six digit code that identifies a particular state or region pin code numbers are assigned differently to different states and to particular areas these numbers help us to deliver the letters faster right sixth one is courier service a company that transports packages and documents a company which transports packages and documents is called courier service seventh internet internet means network of computers fine eighth one is telecommunication it means communication by using technology whenever we use technology for communicating that is called telecommunication ninth one is web browsing it means obtaining information on internet for example google chrome opera etc web browsing means whenever you want to get any type of information you type on internet and you get the whole information in front of you so this is possible due to the web browsing let's start reading from the book personal 
communication. Personal mean person to person. Letter, telephone and email are personal means of communication. So I have said you about the personal means of communication that is letter, telephone, mobile phone, email, face to face interaction. Fine. So all these are the means of personal communication. They are used as a means of communication between individuals. Underline individuals, right? Person to person. So these means that is letter, telephone, emails, mobile phones are used as a personal means of communication. Let's start reading postal services. Postal services means post office services. So before, before beginning with this reading, let me explain you something about postal services. Postal services means post office services. Postal services include accepting and delivering letters and parcels. So postal services include, like I have told you, postal services include post office services only and it accepts letters, parcels and delivers letters and parcels. Postal services was formed in 1854 by Lord Dalhousie. He was the Governor General of India at that time. So, postal services was formed in 1854 by Lord Dalhousie. And who was he? He was the Governor General of India in 1854. Fourth point, the important fact is that India is the country which has large post offices in the world. So this is an important fact that India is the country which has the largest post offices in the world. Fifth one is normal working hours of post offices is 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is very important point and keep this thing in the mind that the normal working of post office is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Big cities have night post offices and mobile post offices. We will study about night post offices and mobile post offices after some time, right? So big cities have night post office and mobile post offices other than the simple postal services. Large cities also have quick mail service. In some of the large cities of the country, we have the quick mail service. We also have quick mail service which helps in reaching your letters faster. Let's start reading from the book. Postal services means post office services. In India, there are thousands of post offices all over the country. As I said, that India is the country which has largest number of post offices in the world. So it has thousands of post offices. The postal department carries our mail, that is letters and parcels sent by post, Money orders have made it clear that it is same like check which is issued by bank or post office and parcels that is packages to all parts of India and the world and delivers it to our friends and relatives. So post office does not only work within the country. In fact, it provides services outside the country. For example, many of our relatives live outside India and we send some kind of gifts to them. For example, on Raksha Bandhan, we send Rakhi to them. Right? Let's move forward. Mails are sent by road, rail or air. So there are three means of transport through which we send our mails and parcel that is road, roadways, railways and airways. The big cities have night post offices and mobile post offices. So let me give you an overview of this night post offices and mobile post offices. Night post offices. Night post offices means post offices which works before and after normal working hours of a post office. It works on Sunday also. So night post office is similar like post office but it works before and after normal working hours that is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. it does not work. It works before 8 a.m. and after 4 p.m. And it works on Sunday also. Means whenever the post office is not in working, night post officers works in that case. Fine. Move on to mobile post offices. 
मोबाइल पोस्ट ऑफिस मीन्स मूविंग पोस्ट ऑफिस विथ सप्लाई मेल एंड अदर पोस्टल सर्विसेस थ्रू स्पेशली प्रिपेयर वेहीकल्स सच एज ट्रक्स ट्रेन्स मोबाइल पोस्ट ऑफिस मूव टू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द सिटी एट फिक्सड आर्स सो मोबाइल पोस्ट ऑफिस मीन्स मूविंग पोस्ट ऑफिस विच मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर फॉर डिलीवरिंग द लेटर्स एंड पार्सल्स दीज आर स्पेशली प्रिपेयर वेहीकल्स मीन्स इन मोबाइल पोस्ट ऑफिस द स्पेशली प्रिपेयर वेहीकल्स लाइक ट्रक्स एंड ट्रेन्स फॉर डिलीवरिंग लेटर्स इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द सिटी एंड इट वर्क एट फिक्सड आवर्स इट डज नॉट वर्क बिफोर एंड आफ्टर नॉर्मल वर्किंग आवर्स certain time is fixed for the working of mobile post offices quick mail service in quick mail service letters reach faster the address should have the pin code number i have made you clear about the pin code number it's a six digit fixed code number which represent particular state region or area fine so in quick mail service the letters reach must faster it reach much faster but the condition is that you have to mention the pin code number along with your address and it helps in delivering the letters much faster look at the book now come on the fourth line the big cities have night post offices and mobile post offices mobile means moving post offices the mobile post offices move to different parts of the city at fixed hours letters are the cheapest means of communication so i have made it clear to you that there are two types of post offices other than normal postal services like night post offices which works before and after normal working hours and mobile post offices which hire special vehicles for delivering the letters fine and the mobile post offices work for the fixed hours and letters are the cheapest means of communication cheapest means low priced letters are low priced means of communication it requires very less cost for sending letters from one place to another come on the next page now so the first line in some of the larger cities there are special letter boxes marked qms that is quick mail service quick means fast from here letters reach faster but the address should have the pin code number so what this paragraph means that in some of the larger cities special services provided right and in that service the letters reach much faster i have said you about the quick mail service that in this pin code number is very much essential for delivering the letters and in this service letters and parcels reach much faster fine this code number is different for different areas of a village town or city so this pin code numbers are different for different states different regions and different areas take example of amritsar the pin code of amritsar is different and the pin code of shyata is different there is a variation between the pin code numbers but these pin code numbers only helps in delivering the letters much faster come on the third paragraph now the postal service also offers speed post and courier service so postal services does not only mean that delivering and accepting letters and parcels in fact it, it in fact it also provides speed post service means the letters could be reached within a day or within day and a half and it also provide courier service means it transports packages and documents to different parts of the country or different parts of the world these services delivers letters and parcels very fast in speed post and courier service the letters and parcel delivered very fast our next personal means of communication is email right so we discussed about postal services now second one is email so before reading from the book let us have a look here email or electronic mail it works through electricity means for sending email to other parts of the world we need electricity that is why it's called electronic mail so let's start email have become important part of human life 
we can send and receive email through the internet to any part of the world on computers so email have become important part of human life because we can send very easily letters and important documents from one place to another within seconds and for this we need internet internet is the network of computer which helps in connecting the computer in different parts of the world and it helps in sending and receiving the letters very fast that to within seconds fine let's look in the book now let's start reading we can send message by electronic mail through the internet to any part of the world on computers so i have made it clear that electronic mail works on electricity and it sends and receive messages or any type of document through internet and internet means network of computers fine the internet is a worldwide computer network by which a user can connect his computer to another computer in any part of the world so worldwide means at world level and here network means system so internet is spreaded at the world level theek hai it is kind of network of computer which are being connected by internet and that internet only helps in delivering the messages from one part to other part right email is an inexpensive means of communication inexpensive means low price so email is low price means of communication it is not too expensive it is very less price means of communication so i have done with today's topic i hope the topic is very much clear to you so what you have to do is you have to do the related exercise of this particular topic thank you